Up next, we have Alejandro Casantino from Hello. Fluenta. Let's welcome him today. Good morning, everyone. You know, uh, I'm from Argentina. I'm the CEO of Affluenta, the first Latin American uh, authorized, you know, by, by SEC, you know, peer to be a lender. And I want to show you how Latinos are transforming banking industry. Let me give you another, a, a brief overview about Latin markets. You know, every market across Latin America, Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, Peru, and Argentina, you know, are quite far away from the ratio loans uh, versus GDP uh, compared with the U.S. market or, or even U.K. or Germany. The market condition are, you know, the, the, the new generation of people hate banks, you know, uh, approximately plus 7% uh, of them have more than 25 years old. They generate their income. They have more than 25 hours uh, uh, a month online. Uh, they have 90% uh, of them or use social networks. The, the outside the US, the U.S. market, five of the, out of 10 biggest social networks are Latinos. 90% of them get information prior buying any kind of product on the internet. One of three visit financial services before buying a, a, a financial product. And uh, there are 255 million Latinos on the internet. You know, we were slow to adapt, you know, P2P lending, but I mean, now uh, uh, in, uh, in Chile, Argentina, and, and, uh, and Mexico, there are P2P players. Let's, uh, let's uh, talk about our ID. We are the first, our market test was launched in Argentina in 2012. Uh, we are the first P2P that got authorization for local sex. You know, our uh, secret source was that we are not uh, talking to the authorities that we are intermediating like banks. You know, we are offering investment products to the people to fund uh, other loans. We have a multi-feature uh, investment platform. You know, our main focus is to the investors. You know, we offer them 100% uh, application response in, in, uh, in 20 seconds. You know, uh, we have an automatic uh, portfolio builder, you know, that help, you know, investors to quickly invest their money. We have uh, our uh, property admission score, you know, we work with our colleagues at uh, Equifax, plus we add educational information and employment information to get our own score. Uh, we, we have a smart clustering uh, pricing structure, so I mean, banks, you know, uh, they have an admission threshold, and after that, you know, there's, it's the same rate in Latin America. It's the same rate for all different targets. I mean, we have different target, different pricing for different targets, and we have the first and only secondary market of the region. You know, we allow investors to trade their participation in loans, uh, and also, you know, by in, investors' requirement, we develop, you know, like a, a payment CRM. Every single investor can track every single payment in, in, in every single uh, loan they are participating. Just a, a quick look about the platform. This is, you know, a, a resume, you know, about what the investor uh, look like. You know, we have, you know, some kind of uh, alternative, you know, to allow him, to, uh, to, uh, the investor, to quickly develop a portfolio. We offer them an alternative to automatically uh, invest matching the criteria they develop versus, you know, the, the loans on, on, on auctions or invest manually. 50% of our investors use, you know, the, the automatic uh, investment uh, alternative and the others invest manually one by one. We offer also some uh, uh, statistics, you know, about how they are investing and how, you know, the, the entire community is investing. And we are offering a CRM for following every single, uh, every single uh, investment. Uh, our structure is based on a trust. I mean, uh, the IOSCO, which is, you know, International Organization for Security Exchange Commission around the world, you know, uh, di di uh, divide different, uh, classify different peer-to-peer uh, -peer lenders in a client segregated account or, I mean, when the bank originate or when, or like Chinese model, when, you know, other platform are, I mean, feeding uh, investor appetite. We have a trust structure where lenders and borrowers, you know, uh, participate in a trust. We are the trustee of the funds and get authorization for local exchange uh, committee, you know, to do that. Our key drivers, you know, we received more than one million visit, uh, unique visitors since our inception in 2012. 
Uh, we have uh, 33,000 community members. Uh, we receive more than 30 million in applications. We are very, very strict, you know, to select credit worthy uh, applicants. And we funded $2 million, uh, originated $2 million in loans. And since every single investor is not allowed to invest more than 5% in a single loan, you know, we generated more than 38,000 investment transactions. That, in that way, we diversify the portfolio of every single investor to get the best return and stable returns. Uh, we promote uh, as much as possible investor per loan. So we, we are an average of 80, but uh, we reach 160 uh, investor per loan. Uh, we offer, you know, uh, we, we have inflation in Argentina, which is approximately around 22 to 25%. So the net investment return for, uh, for every single investor, an average is 43% net of uh, delinquencies and uh, our commissions. And the delinquency rate is uh, approximately 145%. Uh, does anyone have any questions for uh, Alejandro and Afluenta? The, the question is if he's using relatively traditional, traditional credit data to price the loans. If, if, yes, what is the quality like? What data that is the and what quality? Uh, we are working with different uh, information. One is credit data. Uh, we are working with the Equifax colleagues and then provide us the credit data. In addition to that, you know, we add information about employment stability. It's not, I mean, we classify different, uh, different portfolios, but the, the borrowers with high stability in their employment has zero defaults. So, I mean, we are mixing that information with additional uh, education information just to make the right pricing. I mean, it's not the same uh, 700 score uh, with high employment uh, stability than the people that don't have that stability. And the information is quite reliable. Any other questions? Yeah. The question is, what's the criteria to invest with your product? Uh, they have, you know, uh, investors usually have a criteria, you know, different, different criteria. You know, uh, they, we are learning from investor side that they have different patterns. And, you know, some are very conservative and prefer to, uh, to loan to uh, uh, the less risky uh, borrowers. And the other wanted to maximize the, the performance. You have to be a, a resident of that country to lend into that country? Uh, at the moment, yes. You know, we are negotiating with local authorities to receive funds because, I mean, they are eager, you know, to expand the system because usually, you know, the local sec uh, seeing us as an opportunity to compete with banks. Banks don't want to finance certain kind of business or people, and we are entering into that business. One more question? Sure, right here. Can you restate that question? I, you probably understand it better yeah. than me. And, uh, yeah, we are expanding our business. You know, our platform is prepared to expand, and uh, from the beginning, we thought you know to expand our our business. Uh, essentially, we are not doing cross-border financing right now. Uh, we're expecting to do that by the end of 2015 because uh, we believe that we will have you know the legal structure ready you know to do that. You know, a guy investment in you know, a trust in Panama, helping you know. Uh, uh, I mean, making money, borrowing, uh, lending to Latinos in Chile, in Argentina, or in Colombia. We are expanding right now. We have a legal structure ready to go uh, uh, to open our business in Colombia and Peru, and we are getting a legal recommendation from Chile and Mexico. Great. Any, uh, any last questions? Thank you so much.